I'm Nick. Welcome to our Ghost Productions VR Lab. I'm uh, going to show you something that we've built a great demo on uh, this new Oculus Rift S system. Um, this is our new system. I'm eager to show you our demo. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm going to go into our virtual space. So now you'll see me in virtual space. You can see here's my head and I have hands, fully functional hands. I can use all my appendages and see that. I can also use them to grab these tools over here like this pin driver and pull triggers or this saw. Uh, okay. So uh, this is our surgical environment you can see here. Um, there's a couple of things we've done. We've branded to the Ghost Productions uh, logo and uh, I'm also in what's called room scale VR so I can walk around the patient. I can walk up to the patient's head. Hey patient. Make sure they're still alive. Are you alive? And uh, I can walk around the other side of these tools over at the other side of the of the patient too. Here we are. And into the microphone. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Okay. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put the knee into 90 degrees of flexion. So I'll grab the ankle here. I'm given a highlight to help me see the goal where I want to put this leg. Okay, there we go. All right. So now we have it in 90 degrees of flexion. I'm going to select a scalpel from the Mayo stand. And now I can see that there's a highlight to help me know where to start my incision. There's also a line down the, the midline of the patella uh, to tell me where I should make this incision. So. I'll go ahead and do that. The scalpel to make the incision starting just above the patella. You may probe the margin. Okay, so we have the incision made. Now, one of the things we worked really hard on was to develop a soft tissue deform deformation system so that the user can interact with the skin's mar uh, incision margins with our fingers and manipulate it to, to help the uh, user feel m like a more immersive experience um, to have flesh reacting to our, our touch as users. Um, I also have a few tools on the Mayo stand I can use to manipulate the soft tissue finger retractors. For this demo, I'm going to use these forceps retractors and they're fully functional. I can squeeze them and open them up here. So I'm going to place them in the incision and retract it. Select the scalpel okay. from the Mayo stand. To your so now I'm ready to make the incision through the joint capsule to gain access to the joint space. So I'll grab the scalpel again. Use the highlight as a guide. Again, I'll be using this highlight as a guide to make this incision. Continues around in proximal grasp the patient's left ankle, preferably with your left hand. So now I will put the leg back into full extension so I can dislocate the patella. So I'll grab the ankle and follow the highlight down to full extension. Okay, now I'll grab the patella and dislocate it laterally across the knee. And at the same time, everting it so that when I put it in full extension again, it's held on the lateral side of the knee. So now you can see the patella, the back side of the patella is now exposed and our joint space is exposed for the next steps here. So now we're up to using some of the omnibotics tooling. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is put a cortical pin about four finger widths down from the tibial tuberosity. I'll use this pin driver that already has a pin installed. Okay, I'll set that down because I'm going to need it again. Now I can grab the tibial array. You can see it's shaped like a T. I can put that on that pin and then put the second pin in to anchor it. Okay. So now I can select the femoral target array. It's got an F. And I can put it on this highlight on the medial side of the knee. And it's held there by my virtual assistant while I put these two fixation pins in. I'll walk around to the other side of the patient to do that. 
Okay. So I'll put this first pin in. Grab the pin drive. Okay. Okay, now I'll walk back around so we can do the next part. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is grab this nano block. It has a targeting array on it right on the anterior part of the tibia. And it's anchored with these three pins. So I'll grab the pin driver again and put these three pins in. Bone saw to the okay. Now I can use the bone saw to resect the tibial plateau. So it'll we'll be able to cut in in this guide. Once the tibial res plateau is resected, the piece is removed. Now I can remove the nano block with the pin driver, take the pins out. My virtual assistant will hold the nano block for me while I put the pin driver back and then I can grab the nano block and put it back. Okay. So now we can get the eye block it's also it's a uh, the femoral resection robotically assisted femoral resection guide it's called the eye block so we can put that right on the medial side here and now you'll see that it's automatically adjusting for the first cut the distal cut on the femoral condyles i'll grab the bone saw and make that first cut removing the anterior or the distal ends of the femoral condyle. Okay. The eye block will now adjust trajectory. Okay, now we're ready for the anterior resection. Okay. The posterior. And the anterior chamfer. And lastly, the posterior chamfer cut to complete the femoral resection. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, now I can return the bone saw and return the eye block to its position on the Mayo stand. There we go. Okay, now we have the knee completely prepared for our implantation. The first thing we're going to do is put the tibial base component in with this impactor. You can see the impactor is connected to the tibial base. And I'll grab this mallet to impact it into the top of the tibia. Now, as I to impact it into its final position, the top of the tibia there okay that looks good so now I can add the femoral shell component on the distal side of the femur and lastly I'll put the poly inlay component between these two okay and so on our next steps we'll be running this knee through a few range of motion tests to test our final implantation and uh, return it to normal. That concludes our demo for now. See you everybody!